All right, we're going to take a deeper dive into some of our top stories right now, starting with the country's southern border, where the number of unaccompanied migrant children in U.S. custody has now topped more than 16,000. CBS News has learned that border officials have released some migrant families into the United States without a notice to appear in court. So Manuel Bojorquez is joining us now from Juarez, uh, Mexico. So those are two sort of big things. I, I feel like just a few days ago we were saying it was 15,000 kids. Now we're up to 16,000 kids in a matter of days. So bring us up to speed on that, the effort to house them in a safe way. Um, what is going on with the border facilities? I hear that there are six new shelters that are supposed to be going up. Do we know about the location and the capacity? Yeah, one is in Carrizo Springs, Texas. Uh, and as you know, some convention centers are being used as well, the one in Dallas and one that is being set up in San Diego. And you've probably seen the images by now that Customs and Border Protection has released of the children sleeping on mats, uh, in some cases using foil blankets. Uh, in other cases, uh, you see them uh, where they're getting their food, uh, maybe exercising. So the government is trying to show that they have facilities where they can handle handle these uh, children and accommodate them. But clearly, it's not the way that many advocates would like to see those children being treated uh, in close quarters and sleeping on mats on the floor. So that's where you have these emergency shelters that continue to open up. One statistic from Customs and Border Protection is that they're intercepting 530 unaccompanied minors a day along the border. So that gives you an indication of why the numbers keep rising. Wow. Um, so now on to this new information about families um, being released from custody. How is Customs and Border Protection planning to keep track of the families that they have released without court appearance documents? And to be clear about that, uh, this is happening at one sector of the border in Texas. It's not happening happening along the entire uh, border. Uh, but we're told right now by Customs and Border Protection is that they are giving these families instructions on how to check in with ICE at a later date. They're trying to get people processed as best they can in some of these overwhelmed areas. Uh, but they're hopeful that people will be checking back in with them. And there are statistics that show that many of these immigrant families do want to go to those court here and ask for asylum in front of a judge. Uh, so that's what they're doing right now in cases where they cannot serve the proper notice to appear in court. The Biden administration sent officials to Mexico and Central America to meet with leaders to find solutions to this influx. Um, you know, clearly these are issues and problems that have been going on for decades. There's a quick fix here. But do we have any sort of details as to how those meetings are going? We do know that one U.S. official met with Mexican officials yesterday, but we haven't heard many details about exactly what came out of the meeting. In many instances, they are talking about enforcement at the southern border with Mexico, which Mexico says it is already trying to beef up. But they're also looking to discuss ways to address the root problems here, the natural disasters that have happened, the poverty uh, and the violence that is pervasive in so many parts of Latin America that these immigrants tell us they're trying to flee. But we're still waiting to hear more about about what, uh, if any, key points are being discussed there or things that are workable solutions uh, between the two governments. All right, Manuel, thank you so much.